Well, hello, my beautiful and amazing crafters. Welcome to another video of crafting with Shanita. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use print then cut with colored cardstock with your Cricut Explore Air 2. So I have a client that we decided we wanted to do some baby shower tags with a cream colored um, cardstock. And I had I have cream color cardstock in my crafting supplies, so I was so ready and excited to get started on the design and get working on the order for my client. Then it dawned on me that I don't think I can print on colored cardstock with my Cricut Explorer Air 2. So I went to Cricut Design Space and I, I searched the help option. And with the Cricut Maker and the Explorer 3, the sensor does allow for uh, it to read on color cardstock, but I have the Cricut Explore Air 2. Um, so I wasn't aware of this when I purchased the machine, but I still wanted to move forward with the design with the colored cardstock that me and my client have decided on. So my first work around was to just pull up the hex code for the cream color and bring that hex code into Cricut Design Space and at first I was like, okay, I'll just print it on white paper and just use the cream colored um, from the actual hex code and create the design from that. But with my printer and the ink and the way that it, it printed, it came out more of a yellowish color and that's not the look I was going for. So I went back to the drawing board and I really decided, okay, how can I get this done? I, my machine doesn't allow it uh, to read those sensors on a dark colored cardstock, but I want to get this design done, and this is what I came up with. So instead of trying to manipulate the colors uh, using the color chart, I just decided to make the background just white. Um, in this case, it would be the onesie. And then from that point, just flatten my design. And I'll change the background so you can see it. Just and then from this point, I went ahead and saved my design and went ahead and clicked on make it. For this particular size uh, tags, I was able to fit six tags on one sheet of paper, eight by five by 11. And I went ahead and sent it to print and let's see if it will cut. So it was able to cut with the cream colored cardstock and I think it was it's pretty light. So I was like, great, I'll be able to finish this order for my client, but I wanted to dig a little deeper and see how far I could go with the coloring. So I brought out this coral pink color and I just wanted to try and see if it would read the registration marks on this color because I tried red and it did not read the registration on the red cardstock. So I was like, let me work my way up and see if this will work. And it did, it was able to cut. And again, I do have the Explore Air 2, the older version, but the red just would not read the cards, the registration lines, excuse me. But I didn't want to give up. I wanted to keep trying and see how can I, how can this be possible? So on my Instagram uh, page, I showed how I was able to print some glossy paper using the registration marks on um, matte paper and covering it over my glossy to be able to cut out a, a design. And I decided to do that same concept here. So I printed out the design in just black and white um, let's use regular copy paper and I used the registration marks from the black and white copy paper and placed them over the red cardstock and I gave it a try and it did cut 
sorry my, at this point my blade was a little dull so it didn't cut as clean but I was able to cut it out on red cardstock so I'm showing you here the one on the left is how it looked when I just used the hex code versus the actual cardstock and I really like the way that it came out and I'm very surprised and very um, happy that I'm able to use print and cut with other cardstock besides white. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned a little bit or a lot and we will see you on the next video of Crafting with Shanita. Happy crafting!